What's up guys, so as you know Apple released OS X Lion through the Mac App Store a few days ago. One of the things people were not too happy about was the fact that the OS was basically software only and there wasn't going to be a hard copy so that you could boot up from a disk. Um, there was no hard copy available in the Mac store, there was no hard copy available online that you could have shipped to you, it was software only. Now, Apple has said that because of this they would make a USB version for about $70, but I'm going to teach you how to put it on your own flash drive at home for free. Basically, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a 4 gigabyte flash drive or higher. The bigger, the better, but you're minimum going to need 4 gigabytes because OS X Lion is about 3 gigabytes and change. So you're going to need at least 4 gigabyte of flash drive storage. So the first thing you're going to need to know is you need to have the OS X Lion install package on your computer. Now, if you've already downloaded and installed OS X Lion and you're running OS X Lion on your Mac, you're gonna have to re-download OS X Lion. So all you have to do to be able to re-download it is hold down the Alt Options key and with the Mac App Store open, go ahead and click on Purchases. Make sure you hold down the Alt Option key the entire time before you click, during the clicking and after the click because uh, it's gonna do a certain thing which will have the install button lit up so that you can re-download OS X Lion if you don't have it on your computer already. So go ahead and click install if you need to download it, but don't install anything. You're going to need to have the OS X install package, which looks like this. Um, go ahead and find it in your finder, search for it, have it open in a finder window off to the side because we're going to need it here in just a minute. So what you're going to need to do now is go ahead and just plug in your USB flash drive to your computer and open up the application Disk Utility. It's on every single Mac. Just search for it under Applications and you'll find it. Open it up and off to the side here you're going to see all of the different hard drives on your computer. You're going to need to make sure that your USB drive is selected. Make sure that nothing else is selected and uh, even click it more than once if you have to make sure because if you mess up anything else on these hard drives you could lose a lot of data. Make sure your flash drive is not doesn't have anything important on it either um, just because of the fact that we will be erasing the entire flash drive and I don't want you to lose anything important and then blame it on me. So go ahead and um, click on it, make sure it's clicked and open up the partition tab here and the first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to need to change this partition layout. Now if you're on OS X Lion it's going to say partition layout but if you are on Snow Leopard it's going to say volume scheme. Both the same thing. Just go ahead and click 1 and it should change here to look something similar to this. Now the next thing we can do is you can name it whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and name it OS X Lion or OS X Thumb Drive or OS X Lion Bootable. Whatever the heck you want just name it something so that you um, know what it is and that you can recognize it later. Again, make sure nothing is important on here that you're going to lose and then just click apply. Again, it'll warn you that everything is going to be erased. If you're sure that nothing is important on there, go ahead and click partition. We have a little progress bar down here. Just let it do its thing. All right. And once it's all done, it should look something like this with uh, whatever you named it off to the side here underneath your main thumb drive uh, selection. And uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, again, find the install package for Mac OS X Lion. So go ahead and get that ready. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to right click on the Lion and we're going to need to show package contents. Should get a folder that looks like this. Go into the folder and go into shared support. And you're going to see this package right here with the hard drive logo on it. Install ESD.DMG. So uh, what you're going to need to do now is open these side by side and drag the install.dmg package on the bottom section of this um, white rectangle. Don't put it on any of the hard drives. Make sure you put it underneath this line here um, so that it doesn't mess anything up. Once that is um, all set, go ahead and click on whatever you named your um, Lion bootable disk, thumb drive, whatever it is. Just make sure... Um, you click on what you named it, not on the thumb drive itself. Make sure you click on um, the thing that you named it. And what you're going to need to do is open up the Restore tab. And for the source, you're going to need to drag the install just right on top of it. And for destination, 
just drag your uh, whatever you called it right onto destination. Uh, the last step is to just click restore. And um, it'll say it'll erase some things again. Just go ahead and click erase. It'll ask you for your computer password and then you are done. I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but those are all the steps you needed to uh, make a bootable um, OS X Lion thumb drive uh, for free. So if you need to have it boot on the thumb drive in the future, all you have to do, just so you know, is uh, go ahead and plug in your thumb drive into your computer before you turn it on. Um, as you turn it on with the thumb drive installed on um, your computer, plugged into the back, when it makes that um, chiming noise, all you have to do is hold down the options key and it will boot from the uh, USB drive. So you go, that's all you had to do. Hopefully this worked for you. Post a comment down below letting us know if it did. Um, and also your thoughts on OS X Lion. Um, I'll probably have a review up in a couple of days, but I want to know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.